Greetings YouTube, Fuzzfinger here and welcome back to Final Fantasy XII, The Zodiac Age. In today's episode we're going to be riding chocobos, taking on a new hunt and then making our way into the Goldmore jungle and beyond. If you enjoy please don't forget to hit the like button and be subscribed to the Fuzzfinger Gaming YouTube channel. First things first, what I'm going to do today is actually speak to this guy here, Warrior Hasemu. And the reason for that is he's going to give us some information on the Enkelados, which is the next hunt we're going to be undertaking at the start of this episode. So he tells us that he can be located in a place known as the Shred, but that he's scared of the Wu. And so we first need to defeat the Wu, and then he should appear. So we need to uh, speak to him in order to update our hunt. We go to the Clam Primer now and head down to that particular hunt there, which is this one, the Defence of Osmone Plain. And we've just spoken to Warrior Hasimu, so we shouldn't need to speak to him anymore. Although it says that he should know more. I'll just check that we've done with what we need to do. Yep, yeah, okay. So what we're going to do now is grab our free Chocobo ride which we were told about at the end of the last episode and then make our way over to the hunt area it's fairly close to where we need to go in terms of the story as well so we get a one time free ride and it's really more of an introduction to Chocobo riding we're not going to be on it long in all honesty and it's pretty much what you'd expect you get a time limit in this case three minutes and you have a sprint option which you can use three times let's bring up the map so we can see where we're going and it's pretty fun moves you around quite quickly even without the speed functionality that's come with the zodiac age and the enemies even the hostile enemies will just completely ignore you while you're on the chocobo right at this point let's just have a look at that thing awesome uh, right then, so at this point we're going to head over to the east hand side, or the eastern side, to explore unexplored areas which we haven't yet visited before. And in terms of the story, if you're going to do that now, then you'd want to head northeast here, out of this area. But we're actually going to head over to the east because that's where the hunt's going to be located. I'm just going to check the area that we're in, what it's known as. This is the green snake. So we'll come back and loot the treasures and whatnot in a short while. We're going to have to dismount our lovely chocobo bird at this point because these are the woo we need to clear. So this is the shred area that the NPC just told us about. We're going to choose a dismount. Fortunately, when you dismount, you do lose the chocobo until you next hire one. But hey, we've had a bit of an introduction to them now, haven't we? So I don't expect this hunt to be a problem. Especially since we've got Larsa in the party as well. So we've learned the fiend we're after is scared of these woo. So what we need to do is just make sure they're all cleared out. Grab the treasures as well. And then technically I believe if we just leave the area and make our way back. Then that should spawn the hunt, the mark itself. So long as we have killed all those woo. Which in this case, as you can see, we have. So we'll just leave this area, pop back in, and hopefully we'll get it to spawn. Looks like more were uh, showing themselves actually. Grab the treasures again. Okay, I'll try leaving and entering once more. Maybe it'll show itself this time. Yeah, there we go, look. Oh, no, hang on. Uh, the hunt itself is actually over there. So this might be like a rare mob, actually. I was a bit unprepared for this guy. Can we steal off it before it dies? Well, 
Well, here's the hunt. You can dis cast this spell if you want to get rid of the uh, protect that it's got on itself. But Enceladus is the guy we need to go ahead and attack here. Larsa will, of course, help you out. But he's certainly the weakest of our party members at this point. And it seems our party now want to attack the flying enemy instead. Well, it's all going to die eventually anyway, so I'm not too concerned about that. Everything's got a fall. It's got a sword sticking in its leg. I guess somebody else has had a go at this beast before and probably met with an untimely fate, haven't they? Anyway, we get the leaf for that hunt. Which we're going to need to bring to the uh, Chief Sugumu. And then he's going to ask us to uh, bring that leaf to somebody else in the village, in Giza Village. So let's just very briefly head back to the save point and to the NPC as well. While farming some experience on the way, of course. Our levels are going up nicely, aren't they, at this particular point in the game? Our guest character is level 23. And I guess that's a, a good indicator of where we're going to want to be by the end of uh, having them in our group. Since in the original Final Fantasy XII, they couldn't actually level up. Whereas now they can, but the level is based on, I guess, you know, the time that they're with you. If that makes sense. Not just the time they join with you. And the fact that they can level up and get stronger now is just a bonus, isn't it? I've looted a lot of these treasures around here already, so for the sake of the walkthrough and for time reasons, I'm just going to race back here to the Jahara. And this will be hopefully another hunt done and out of the way. So I believe he's uh, up here, the guy we need to speak to. It's not you. Maybe I was wrong on that. Okay, I've just checked on the map. He should be located. Uh, in the northern tip of this final area of the village here. Let's just slew things down a bit. Here he is, look. Low Chief Sugumu is the one we need to talk to. And we get our usual reward for completing the hunt itself. The Garden Amulet is quite nice because it doubles the amount of license point that the character earns. And now we speak to this guy again. And he tells us about the leaf that we collected. And as we've suggested, he's going to want us to take it to Giza. And to give it to one of the NPCs over there. And that person is only found you in the dry season so we'll need to make sure that we approach him at the correct time and you get two remedies for completing that quest so it's not the most exciting thing in the world but hey if we want to 100% the game then we do need to go ahead and do that at some point so I'm just going to save him or we'll move on right so I've brought us back to the location where we went off to the hunt earlier this time we're going to take the northeast path and this will bring us into the area known as the Field of Light Winds. And we're going to just kill the enemies, I guess, before we do anything else. Sorry, I just smacked the uh, microphone then, so that probably made a horrendous sound. Grab the treasures. So I'm sure the routine's becoming familiar by this point. Make sure 
sure there's nothing else lurking around here in terms of loot. We're literally just destroying enemies now, aren't we? We're going through them like a knife through butter, really. Okay. So we're going to be heading over through the eastern exit. I guess this one was a success. Wow, I'm impressed, Vaughn. I got a good feeling. An alliance between Dalmasca and the Empire. Reason tells me tis the only course. We must avoid a wasting war with the Empire at all cost. Yet I fear I could not bear the shame, had I but the strength. A shame, perhaps, for me and for you. But for Dalmasca, it is hope. And you can just accept this, can you? After Vane's ruse, I had abandoned hope for honor. Yet, never did I forget my nightly vows. If I could protect but one person from war's horror, then I would bear any shame. I would bear it proudly. I could not defend my home. What is shame to me? My people hate the Empire. They will not accept this. There is hope. Right? Don't encourage Hope for a future where we can Not join hands enough. as brothers. <laughs> Larsa, please. This is serious. Oh, oh I'm, I'm sorry. Don't be Larsa. Somebody's got to put him in his place. So we're going to get a number of event scenes here before we can take control once more. The Senate may play at intrigue, but Lord Vane is not one to be brought down easily. The entire military waits upon his orders, from the War Council down to the rank and file. What better blade than he to strike down the enemies of the Empire? Your Honor reminds me of Zet two years since. He, too, put his trust in Lord Vane's strength, and what became of him? Gone without a trace since Nabodis. I will not hear you malign Judge Zet. He was a noble warrior. Or do you think his trust in Lord Vane ill-placed? Vane took two of his own brother's lives. He is ruthless beyond contempt. Ruthless, you say? Would he were more so? He gives traitors no quarter, be they of his own blood. How fitting for one who would bear the burden of empire. But could we bear him? Zargabath, what of you? Surely you do not believe his brothers were traitors? So found his excellency, Lord Gramis. You would do well to mind your tongue, Drace. That matter is long past. Your honors, a summons. Lord Vane has arrived at the palace. We come at once. Lord Larsa has left for Boromises. He hopes to enlist the aid of the Grand Cutius in stopping the insurgents. I doubt this will be enough to deter Ondor, but even a slight hindrance to his operations would be welcome. This will delay the Rosarian invasion, and we will have bought much needed time to shore up our defenses. Just as His Excellency had hoped. No matter the result, I'm pleased with the young Lord's progress. I can already see the stunned faces of those mud-witted senators. The fools think a child Emperor's strings easy to pull from the shadows. But they will find that Lord Larsa is no puppet. Yes, the Senators would be most pleased with a puppet for an Emperor. Recall, Drace, how the Senate fears and despises Lord Vane's ability? When they realize the truth, that Lord Larsa is no docile lamb to be shepherded, they will bare their teeth and devour him. You are right. I shall speak on this matter with His Excellency at once. Gabranth, it falls to us to protect Lord Larsa. Are we agreed? Aye. I... 
Okay, so we get a lovely save point here that we're going to be using to heal up. And then we're going to be making our way uh, into the next area. Before going any further, you might want to just set some gambits up to help with status ailments. If you've got a Suna by this point, then that's going to come in useful. If not, just do what I've done and just set some characters up to uh, remove blind, petrify and sleep. And slow if you want to do that as well. The reason why I've turned Varn's blind off, Gambit, is because we can save items. If we keep Lato alive, he can actually remove blind with his blindness spell. So that's going to come in useful as well. I also have a few other characters with some status removing magic, so I've equipped those onto gambits as well. So we're going to head over into the next area at this point. This is Golmore Jungle, which is an interesting dungeon, uh, actually, and there's some uh, fun encounters to be had here so this first set of enemies are panther enemies and you can actually take them out uh, quite easily with ice magic if you want to but they're also going to drop quite quickly to physical attacks as well so there's really no need to uh, go all out on them uh, with spending resources and what have you and then we're going to head uh, this way uh, just let me get my bearings actually this way there is a map, and I just want to make sure I take the right route here. Yeah, I was right, it is this way. So we're going to head up the ramp a little bit, and then there should be some stairs for us to make our way down. And there's lots of panthers at the moment, but we're going to be getting some far more challenging encounters in a moment's time, so don't get too uh, deceived here by the easiness of these guys. And we're just going to take our detour down here, and look at this, there's a Mulva. I'm sure many of you familiar, familiar with Final Fantasy will hate these guys and you do want to kill them as quickly as possible or you are going to be hit with all sorts of nasty status effects. Fortunately if we are, we should be prepared to take care of them. And here's the urn with the complete map to the air view itself. Our location is now complete and there can also be a treasure chest that spawns around here but I think it's just a little bit further south here around here but I don't think it has spawned for us unfortunately so we'll just keep on moving around for the time being and more panthers let's speed things up a little bit So I will of course show you the treasures, at least where they can spawn, so then if you want to farm for them if they don't spawn, you know where to look. And yes, there's some interesting stuff going on down there. So let's see what this is about. Well, we can't seem to do much with this at the moment, but... Uh, there should be an event that triggers here, but I'm not seeing it, one sec. Okay, I thought there was an event that would trigger there, and you can see there's a mark on the map, but it must be one of the other barriers, so we're going to just continue to proceed on around at this particular point. And there's a few more treasures that we can loot around this area, so I'm just going to go the long way around here. The reason for that is there's just one more or two more treasure spawns around the outskirts. So going up there will of course take you back to the path that we've already been to. These guys are neutral so I am just going to ignore them for now. We're going to not go that way. Ah, it could be this one. Perhaps, yes, this is the event trigger. What is it? The jungle denies us our passage. What have we done? We? No. I... What's that mean? How are we supposed to get through that? Making an appearance? Come on, I'm talking over here. I thought you'd left for good. Hey! 
Our choices are few. Friend? Both here. This is as much for you uh. as it is me. Oh? You are ill at ease. The Nethersite troubles you. You've let your eyes betray your heart. Right. What are you doing? <sighs> Soon you will learn. We go to seek aid of the Viera who dwell ahead. I bet they'll be glad to see you after so long. I am unwelcome, an unsought guest in their wood. Okay, so interestingly, we, uh, I've learned that we're not able to pass those barriers, but Fran has instead opened up a secret path leading to a village. So we're going to be exploring the rest of the jungle a little bit later on. For now, we're going to see what lies beyond. In the village ahead, you will find her, Yern. Bring her to me. She will know why you call her. So, first thing you're going to notice is the teleport crystal, and we are going to be using that to take down some optional content before we head on north and kick off the next part of the story here. But before we even do the teleport crystal, we're going to speak to this Moogle, uh, Lulusi, or Lulus. And the reason we're going to do that is this guy has some powerful magics for us to buy. Oh, we can even buy a, a map for the village itself, so we'll go ahead and do that, I guess. Okay, so actually we do need to uh, just go north in order to find that Moogle. Oh no, it's this guy here. It is this. Come off that one. It's this one here. I thought this was the guy we just spoke to. We wasn't, but yeah, Tetran's the one we want to speak to. So Tetran is the one that helped us on the Leviathan when we wanted to buy some potions in the cells, I believe. And if you haven't got a sooner yet, as I don't, then you can purchase it here, along with some other powerful magic such as Thunder R and Fire R, which are going to be pretty nice at this point in the game. So spend a moment or two and stock up. But I'm going to finish off today's episode here. We're going to crack on next time, as I say, with some uh, optional stuff. We'll have a look at some of the other hunts and that that might become available before we actually carry on with the story. So thanks for joining me, guys. If you've enjoyed, don't forget to hit the like button and come back next time when we continue on with Final Fantasy XII, The Zodiac Age.